another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and let's talk about TCL scripting and how it can help you in troubleshooting network connectivity. We've got Topology Zero, the updated Topology Zero up and running inside of GNS3 and my console windows are already up. So what we want to do is we want to go on Router 1 and pop in some type of script that will let us ping a bunch of stuff with one keystroke or at least a couple keystrokes. Now normally if we're in router 1, let's pull in router 1 here, if we wanted to ping stuff we'd go something like ping 222 and we could see here it doesn't ping because I don't have OSPF running then we would do ping 22 all twos and a three and so on and so forth. So it can get pretty tedious if you have let's say 10 to 20 IP addresses that you want to ping uh, let's say you have 50, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. Right? So you definitely want some type of automated script that will ping through everything for you. Alright, so let's make this more interesting. We've got a single loopback here. Let's go to R2. Let's add two more loopbacks. So ConfT interface loopback 1, IP address 3.3.3.3, and we'll make it a slash 32. Int loopback 2. IP address 4.4.4.4 and make it a slash 32 as well. And just for kicks, we'll add in a loopback 3 IP address all fives and make it a slash 32. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of extra loopbacks. As you can see by show IP in PR, we've got four loopbacks. We also have the fast Ethernet 00, 0 interface pointing towards R1. So potentially we've got, let's see what we've got here, four addresses there and an extra address. So we've got five addresses that are pingable from R1. Okay, let's start up OSPF. So we'll go router2, conf t, router OSPF1, network of all zeros, all zeros, area zero. We're going to do the same thing on router2. Conf T, router OSPF1, network all zeros, all zeros, area zero, and this will give us connectivity between all the routers. And while OSPF syncs up, I'm going to show you what the TCL script will look like. Simple text-based uh, script. We're going to type in TCLSH to start our TCL mode. And then the script is pretty easy. If you're used to basic or C, C++, that type of stuff, this should be very simple for you. For each address, address, and then we have brackets. This is to basically define a one column, one dimensional array. We're going to pop in these IP addresses into address. So all twos, all threes, all fours, and then 10, 10, 12, 2, which is the other side on the fast ethernet for router two. So that's going to close off the addresses and then we're going to ping the variable. So first we're going to ping all twos, then it's going to take this number, all threes, we're going to pop it into there automatically and then it's going to ping that, ping all fours, ping all fives and so on. And then we're going to quit out of there by doing TCL quit. All right, so let's copy that information, control C. We'll go to R1. And so we could do this the long way, right? We could ping 2222, two, 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 right? And then we could ping 3333, three, three, three. okay? But here's a shortcut. We do TCL SH. So now we're entering, entering in TCL a shell mode. Going to right click everything in there. You can see that this pops in very cleanly. As soon as I hit enter, it's going to start the pings. I've just pinged out all five addresses. Everything's nice and nice and clean. And then we're going to exit out. Now you might have noticed if I pull back in my notepad here, this ping address is exactly what I would type if I wanted to do it from the command line. So ping 4444. Now I can even add in some options after that. Let's do a question mark there. So you may be familiar with the repeat number. So let's say I don't want to ping it five times. I just want to ping it once. 
So I would do that by doing ping 4444 repeat of number one. And then I, I could also add in a source, source loopback zero, right? I could do that. Well, that those two options I could also add over to this TCL script, okay? So I could do this, repeat one, source loopback zero. And then I could start up TCL SH and paste this whole thing in there. And let's see if it works. So TCL SH, right click, enter. And you can see it definitely works. It sent out one ping each from the loopback of all ones. So you could definitely see how this could help you in your CCNP and CCIE labs where you've got 8 to 12 routers and just a whole mess of addresses. Here it's kind of silly because we only have two routers. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out what pings and what doesn't. But as you scale up, then troubleshooting is going to get a heck of a lot more complicated. So what you would do is just keep a notepad window open. And just as you add in a new address, you hit enter and pop in the address right there as so. All right, so that was a quick and easy video about using TCL scripts to help you troubleshoot network connectivity. Thanks for watching.